picture of the month. Happy February. I hope you're staying warm wherever you are. I have this month for you uh, an old time tune. I have been getting uh, increasingly into old time tunes. I'm really, I love the lilting, smooth but funky bowing. I love the groove. It's all great. And I love this tune. Um, this tune is called Booth. Well, it's referred to as Booth. I'm told that the longer title is Booth Shot Lincoln, but you might see why one would abbreviate that one. Um, <laughs> some of these older tunes have questionable nomenclature to them, but it is a fantastic tune. And uh, here it is. to the string players at the moment. Because you may have been listening and going, wow, did Mari get her violin adjusted or something? It sounds fantastic, doesn't it? Um, because I'm cheating. <laughs> a time-honored tradition of cheating. For the first time in Tune of the Month history, we're doing a tune that is cross-tuned. My violin is not tuned E-A-D-G. Instead, it is tuned E-A-E-A. -E -A. This is a, a commonly used a uh, key of A tuning in old time music and actually also in Scottish music they use this, they call it high bass. Uh, if you've never done this before, um, it's super cool. Uh, the disadvantage is it's going to limit you to just the key of A. The advantage is it's going to create this wildly resonant sound to your instrument and you'll fall in love with it immediately and then want to only play cross tuned forever and ever. <laughs> so uh, to do it you're just going to take your uh, lower two strings and raise them by a whole step. So your A string matches what was formerly your G string, and your E string matches what was formerly your D string. Okay? So you may want to take a minute, pause the video, and have that happen. Okay? Unpause. And uh, <laughs> I, uh, as always, I will send out the Tune of the Month uh, sheet music with my newsletter if you're subscribed to that. Uh, if you're not, go to my website www.mariblack.com, subscribe. I will send you every month the sheet music for the Tune of the Month. Uh, for that month. Um, but I will warn you that this cheap music is going to be particularly unhelpful this month because of this cross tune thing. Um, because where I will write the note low A, two ledger lines below the treble clef staff, you will want to play your first finger and now that is not your first finger, that is now your open string. So while the sheet music will be there for you, it is not going to be particularly helpful in the lower half of the instrument. So you're much better to learn it by ear. Just dive right in there and do it. Okay, so here's Booth. The key to old time music is all in the bow. My left hand ornaments are almost non-existent. It's all here. I'll slow down the A section. Pick up. I 
simplified it as much as I could. You can drone, because all these strings agree with each other. Anytime you've got an adjacent open string, you can drone that string. It would sound great. I took, all, uh, took out all but what I call the essential drones, the ones that you need to make the bowing work. Um, and you may have noticed that this is a part one, part two, part one ending tune. Woohoo! Um, that means it's easy to learn. So here's part one. I have a pickup. <laughs> That's part one, and it's also your first look at this quintessentially old-time bowing that has an essential drone in it. This is just straight. Now here it is, down, up. So that's four eighth notes, down, and then three slurs up bow, but that up bow has a lot going on at it. extra shove, down, up, shove, up, down. I call it, uh, yeah, a shove is a good word for it. Sometimes I call it the punch up bow, um, and I mean like a, a jazzy punch, not a wham punch, because it's not whammed at all. It's just a little extra burst of speed. And I'm accentuating it by crossing strings. I have that unison, right, between my third finger, high cross tune, my open string, down, up, and the first A is played without the drone, just on my D string, and then on the punch I cross and add the open, adds a little punch. Here's part one again. Alright, part two starts with another punch because I'm starting up bow. Catch again. And again, I lift the drone. No drone. Add it again on the punch. Here's part two again. Got it? Back to part one. Starting up, oh, here's the ending. Starting up, oh, uh, down, up, uh, and another one of those up bow shoves at the end. You get the idea of how those work? They should all feel very similar in your hand. I'll do the whole A section with just the essential drums. Part one. to get the bowing to work out. If you have those shove up bows, you're digging into the very heart of the style. Here comes the B section. This is also part one, part two, part one ending. And it is also heavily driven by these up bow shoves. Sorry.
that's very similar to the A section in parts. Let's start with the beginning. Two pickups. Down. Right? Did you catch the, the shove? That's all of part one. Two shoves back to back. How cool is that? Shove. Shove. Part two. Did you catch that material taken from the A section? With the shove. Similar to part two, right? And that's the whole B section. I'll do it all together. Uh, the B section twice with the essential drums. And that's the whole tune. If you speed it up with those shoves intact and make it really lilting and rolling, it's always a round sound to the shove, never a pointed, always a nah, like a speed bump. Um, that will give you your old time sound and your old time feel. And if you're like me, you'll fall in love with how your instrument sounds in cross tune and start to play lots of cross tune tunes. They're out there um, in many different tunings. This is again the key of A. And hey, by the way, that old time tune we learned a while ago, the Charleston Gals, can also be played in cross tune. So uh, you have to adjust your fingering for anything that's on the D or G string a little bit. But if you know that tune, you can try and play it in this cross tune and just use your ear about where you need to uh, adjust it. I happen to learn, I've chosen to learn all these eight old time tunes, Charleston Gals, Booth, uh, and several others in both standard and cross tuning. So I can use them in whatever medley I like. If I play them in standard, I can put them with tunes and other keys. But if I play them in cross tune, I get that resonance. All right, so have fun playing around with it and I will see you next month for another tune. Have fun guys.